My name is Justin Dixon and I am the gaffer. My specific duty is to carry out technically what the cinematographer or DP wants artistically. What if it was just a dream? Desire and impulse never happened. I am to carry out the lighting orders, whether it be setting up a light, creating an environment for the actors to be able to portray emotion to be able to do what they do. I want to create a beautiful environment for them so that they feel, okay, this, this, this feels like a home, this feels like a kitchen, this feels like a living room. This place is beautiful. Justin is one of our stars who started as a gaffer on the first one I did with Denis. And he's become, you know, a massively talented and experienced gaffer. Like Wiggs has, has definitely been a turning point in my career. I was in introduced to Wiggs um, by Effie Brown, who I would say is like my fairy godmother. She called me up and she told me what she was doing, and um, I said, absolutely. <laughs> You're saying I'm all the right things, so I don't, need, I don't need to step in. And then I IMDB some of the directors that she was talking about, and I was terrified because of their long list of experience. She wants me to gaff on these, like I, I don't have that experience. I was in, introduced to Denis Lenoir, who is a French cinematographer. Denis really, really took me underneath his wing and taught me so much um, color temperature, exposure. He just whipped me into shape really, really quick. And it just made sense to me. He just took me to another level. After that, I was introduced to more cinematographers like Jeff Jur. Amy? Yeah, that's good. It's nice, huh? Perfect. Michael Negrin. Rolling. Hold it there. Okay. Stop. They invested in me so much. Just so much. They took me on shows after that, such as True Blood, Dexter, um, a lot of commercials. I was able to work with Janusz Kaminski, uh, Steven Spielberg's uh, cinematographer. I was able to work with Bob Richardson, Ian Kincaid, who's a big gaffer to me. I was able to really, really refine technique and uh, skill. We're all so proud of Justin, and Justin is so pleased and happy to have been a part of us and to take advantage of this opportunity. I've learned to become quicker. I've learned to be more professional, you know, because it's a small, intimate crew. It's me and another guy. So we have to move very, very fast because we don't have a lot of time. And I think to think quicker and to be quicker, people really, really take a liking to that. If I can't do it one way, I have to do it the other. I will go home and I would think of three different ways of how to do something. Yeah, around this height. No problem. Right. Around this height. You're doing over on him, right? Well, yeah, it's kind of You know, I would go to the movies, and because John yells out his lenses, I could go to the movies and watch and say, oh, that's a 50, that's 85, that's a 50, that's 100. She's a 32 person. Working with the, the, the talented actors, working with John Abnett, working with Rodrigo Garcia, working with Marta Kaufman, you have to bring your level up. You have to bring your A game up and produce so that we're doing some good work. The ball sack is back. The ball sack. I came up with the idea of it. However, I did not come up with the name of it. It's putting China balls in a muslin. The muslin gives us a nice, warm, soft poof. It's keeping consistent with our space lights. It's uh, lightweight. You can put it anywhere. Let's bring it in. Stop right there. I love this place. I love this place.